let's take a look at how you might edit polylines in the GCAD Plus environment. I've zoomed in when we zoom previous. Here's the design. Let's zoom in on that area where there's some gravel paving enclosed by polyline. And I notice that if I, I'll just reach in and if I pick that line and we zoom out, that's a polyline wrapping around that internal gravel paved area. And you may be able to see in here that it has 275 points. That's the polyline that I've picked. Let's do a zoom again. The zoom window. We're, we're in just about where I want to go. But I noticed that there were two of them. This outer one had 275 points. They're called vertices. And the second one has 284. So they're clearly two separate lines. They don't both need to be there. It's a bit of a, a bit of guesswork to see which one we are going to eliminate or should eliminate. But I'm going to erase that outer one there. Now, we're interested in editing polylines. So we have one polyline left. Notice that the vertex down here, that is that 275, is not attached to any particular line marker. We'd want it moved from th that point where it's just floating in space. And we'll go, we'll use an O-snap and move it perpendicular. And so we've now squared it off. We'd better come over here and do the same thing. So all I have to do is select the line, the poly line. To move it, I just make the, the one of the vertex, that vertex number 274, I make it sort of hop. And then we move. I don't even have to issue the move command. I just, I'm going to move that vertex perpendicular so it latches properly. We now select it. That's marking nicely the area that we're in fact going to hatch. I'm just looking for other errors. But that shows quite clearly that you can edit the vertices of a polyline. I'm not quite sure why we had so many vertices here. Um, if you were tracing a let, let's just do it and demonstrate. And I'll, I'll try and leave those markers there. We'll go draw, polyline, and for a start point, we'll come here. And if we want to draw that polyline, and I've got color 41 current at the moment, let, let's change it to red. So what we're doing is going to stand out. Clearly what we would want would be an arc that would run all the way around here. Currently there are lots of um, vertices there. I think you could get away with much less. So um, we want to go into an arc mode now. And it's asking us for the end point of the line. We can, we can just click on that point there or we could snap to an end point of an existing line and that goes in and now we so i'll just enter from there we've put a line in i expect it to come in red but maybe we can't make that sort of change on the fly of course we've got our existing polyline which has now changed red never mind we'll leave it at that point what we're trying to demonstrate is that i've just and if i make this one i could use the perpendicular option and snap that perpendicular 
So now we've added a new arc in that area. And instead of having all those numerous data points, what we'll do is select both of them and then deselect the top one. We had previously all those data points running from 225 to about 100 and 150. So we had some 70 vertices through there. And we've just shown that you can replace that with, in fact, one arc. So that would really make things a lot, lot easier. So when you're using a polyline to delineate an area such as this, use the arc option in the polyline command. So we can edit a polyline very easily. We don't have a command to neatly eliminate all those polylines through there. And it would be best to learn to do it rather than what's probably happened here is that uh, an arc's been exploded or a circle or some other entity being broken up. I hope that helps run through some of the characteristics, and there are many more, of editing a polyline.